Hey there, kiddos. Do you know that every living thing has a life cycle? Or have you ever heard of metamorphosis? So join us on this learning adventure into the life cycle of a butterfly. Come on, kids, let's go. Come join the fun. Before we dive into the life cycle of a butterfly, you need to know what a life cycle is. It doesn't really matter if it is an insect, or a plant, or an animal. They all have life cycles. A life cycle is like a story about how a living thing grows, lives and changes. Each part of the story is a different stage life, showing how it grows and changes from the beginning to the end. Butterflies go through a fascinating transformation called a life cycle, which has four special stages. Let's explore each one. Let's begin with the egg stage. It all starts when a mommy butterfly lays her tiny eggs on a plant's leaves. These eggs are super small. They also come in different shapes. They can be round, long, or even oval. Pretty cool, right? Sometimes she lays them one by one, or she might lay a bunch together. Depending on the type of butterfly, this laying of eggs can range from a few days to one week. For instance, a monarch butterfly takes about three to five days to lay her eggs, whereas a cabbage white butterfly requires at least five to seven days to lay her eggs. To make sure her eggs stay safe and can hatch, the mommy butterfly needs to find just the right warm spot and a healthy plant to lay her eggs on. Butterflies are really smart. If the area around the plant isn't very safe, she might decide to lay even more eggs to help make sure at least some of them can grow too. This careful planning is super important to keep her baby eggs safe. Hey there, kiddos. So, the next stage of the life cycle is the caterpillar stage. This can also be called the larva stage. Butterfly eggs typically hatch into caterpillars within three to 14 days, though this can vary by species and environmental conditions such as temperature. Warmer weather may speed up the hatching process. Fun fact. Caterpillars come in many different colors, and often, their color patterns can provide clues about how they will look as butterflies. As soon as caterpillars hatch, they start eating almost immediately. This is why it is very important that the plant on which the eggs were laid is healthy. Caterpillars are always eating. They munch on leaves all the time. They grow so fast that they have to shed their tight skin several times so they can get bigger. This is called molting. Caterpillars are quite interesting, right? Next up on the butterfly life cycle is the pupa stage. The pupa stage can also be called the chrysalis stage. Repeat one more time, kiddos. Pupa or chrysalis. Chrysalis is such a fun word to say. The time the caterpillar takes in its chrysalis stage depends on the type of butterfly. Monarch butterflies can take between 10 to 14 days in its pupa form. Meanwhile, swallowtail butterflies can take two to four weeks. Fun fact! Swallowtail butterflies are named for their unique tails on their back wings that look just like the long, pointy tails of swallows. A kind of bird. Once the caterpillar is big enough, it stops eating and finds a cozy spot to turn into a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something amazing happens. The caterpillar starts to change into a butterfly. Hey kids, we made it to the last stage, the butterfly stage. Finally, the chrysalis opens and out comes a beautiful butterfly. At first, its wings are soft and wet. The butterfly rests for a little while and pumps blood into its wings to make them strong and ready for flying. Now as a grown-up, the butterfly will start looking for other butterflies to make new eggs with and the whole cycle begins again. 
Hmm, let me see. Have you ever wondered how butterflies taste their food? Butterflies taste with their feet. Yep, you heard right. They have taste sensors on their feet for that. Pretty amazing, right? When the butterfly completes all four stages, this is called metamorphosis. Each part of a butterfly's life is important, helping it survive and make more butterflies. Bye-bye, kiddos.